Welcome everyone to my trailer analysis of the Uprising map pack and uh, I will say they didn't show as much in this trailer. I really wish they would have shown us more but they haven't and uh, I'm pretty sure that this is just the initial trailer that we will be getting or the intro of the map if you will or what the zombie of the map is going to be about. So just like Call of the Dead we got like a cinematic intro. I'm pretty sure this is part of the cinematic intro because the zombies look really CGI-ish and this zombie uh, as you guys can tell he's really keeping uh, his presentation well and uh, I'm kind of that he's a zombie who knows uh, how to dress good and if you went on a date he, he, Let's just say he's not gonna go home alone You know what I'm saying, but let's move on now like many other people have stated one of the dead is like Alcatraz and Alcatraz is a cramped cramped place It's a prison, right? It's not meant to be for luxury and uh, as you guys can see the corridors, the hallways, everything is actually very limited space. In the whole trailer, I did not see one potential training spot. Now, this part of the video is pretty creepy, and just for you guys, I stopped the video frame by frame just to get this perfect image for you guys. Now, in the right side of the picture, you do see a wall gun. I'm not too sure what that is. It kind of resembles an Olympia. That's what I thought at first, and now it kind of looks like an M14 to me. Not too sure what that could be, but what I really want to talk about is that bench. Now, initially, I thought that was a buildable bench, and uh, I commentated over it. But when I stopped the video frame by frame and got a closer look of it and got this amazing picture Thanks uh, to Sony Vegas and uh, my super awesome clicky fingers, but it looks like a sacrificial altar with candles and a skull now if you look on the floor, there's a piece of clothing there and uh, yeah, that's pretty creepy, and I knew Treyarch said that they were going back to a scary feel now I don't know if this is gonna be part of the Easter egg. I suspect it is but it actually kind of creeped me out a little. It was, I mean, would you really put that in a map? Um, a skull, a piece of clothing just there? So it makes you think, what's, what the hell happened to the person who was doing some wicked mojo stuff? So tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section below, and let's move on. Now, this part of the video is really important because this is where I got my thumbnail from. Thank you, Treyarch, for an epic thumbnail. Got it. I just had to say it. But uh, next part is where we get another view of Alcatraz. And I will say, did you see those two red lights? Let me slow it down for you guys. Now, if you look closely, there's two lights in the distance and they kind of look like a skull when you keep looking at it. And one thing I do want to mention is that massive orange light. Now, that really, really resembles to me the mystery box light. And I don't know if Trike have just done it to make it look a little different, but uh, I suspect that the mystery box is not going to have a blue light because we're looking at the whole map right now and I do not see any blue light at all. So I'm, you know, I'm 95% sure that the mystery box for some reason has an orange light. I don't know why, I think it's got something to do with the person controlling the zombies right now. And uh, like I said in my previous, when I first got the information about the zombies with red eyes, I did say that someone else, or had a theory that someone else was controlling the zombies. So you can go check that video out if you want to, but basic gist of it was I suspected that someone else was controlling the zombies and it kind of looks like to be true because the zombies don't have orange eyes and they don't have blue eyes. Now furthermore people are going to say maybe it's maybe it's orange but try it messed up. They haven't messed up because they got the eyes right in Nuketown so that's my that's my support of that theory. Now we get to see a bit more of the map and I apologize for the lightning it's Triax's fault, blame Triax, not my fault and over here we get to see the two red eyes from a closer angle and if you look closely that's where the orange beam of light is actually originating from so I do expect that to be the mystery box, you know, I'm like 99% sure that has to be the mystery box. I don't see it anywhere else on the map. Now, I initially thought that the map would be pretty cramped, but looking at it now, there does seem to be quite a lot of area to actually go around the map. And uh, maybe, um, you know, room trains won't be possible, but around the map trains might be possible. Like in Kino, you could go all the way around the map to gather all the zombies up and uh, you could have a successful train. So it, we might be seeing that again now. Now, if you look closely below the pylon, there does seem to be some sort of green orb of light and it looks like a trap piece. So we will be seeing a return of traps in Black Ops 2, Uprising, Mob of the Dead, which I can't wait for. It won't be just, you know, using the slick or fire or whatever new wonder weapon we have to actually get to a high round. We can actually utilize traps now, which is going to be super awesome because shooting the zombies gets old and, uh, you know, sometimes I want to electrify the sons of bitches. But uh, that's also, I'm glad to see traps are returning. Did we just see body bags? A Triac are really going for the scary feel. We have body bags and not just one, like 20 people just, you know, slaughtered and put in body bags. Now, I'm not sure if they're not body bags, but to me they look like body bags and uh, I don't know if that's where the prisons were gone to get executed, but uh, 
let's move on. Now moving ahead, we can actually see uh, part of the zombie shield in the map and uh, that's awesome, the zombie shield is returning. I never really used it much in transit because I don't really play the map, but we can also see some new guns. Now, I initially thought these were the PPSHs and it really made me jump out of my chair because I love that gun. For those of you who haven't played World at War Zombies, the PPSH was pretty much the ultimate point racket. It was powerful, it was really good in ammo, and uh, I think when you pack a punch it, it was called Reaper, so you must see that gun because it's absolutely insane, but it doesn't look like to be a PPSH and not too sure what it is Thompson maybe, but uh, now we can see the four characters up close Four gangsters band together to fight the zombie apocalypse That was my epic voice, but uh, I don't know how good of a job I did now If you look closely you can actually see the zombies coming out of this cell So all you have to do is close the cells and you'll be fine now This guy's name is Ray Liata. He's actually holding the LSAT so Thank God we're getting that weapon back again, one of the ultimate SMGs to rack points up and really important part on the video which we're going to talk about quite a bit. So a zombie getting owned by the LSAT, that's pretty awesome, but what I really want you guys to focus on is that Hellhound. Now, one thing I must say, Hellhounds have always had red eyes. That is the deal. They don't have yellow eyes, they've always had red eyes. So this Hellhound, to me, looks like he's trapped in another dimension. And I don't know what kind of part this plays into the zombie map, it might just be a mini boss, but uh, I've always had this theory in Zombies, and it's if Samantha still controls the Hellhounds, uh, Richtofen, Samantha, it's the same body, I don't know, I don't know, Samotofen, is that how you can say it now, but Samantha and Richtofen's body, does she still control the Hellhounds, and it, there is, you know, a question to be answered over here, because Richtofen doesn't use Hellhounds, he uses minions, if you will, so, uh, if the Hellhound is trapped in another dimension, maybe it's trying to get a message across to the players to free the Hellhound, which in turn will free Samantha. That's what I'm expecting for this Easter egg. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. But also, if you look uh, behind uh, in that cupboard, you can actually see some kind of glowing item. Now, I'm not too sure what that is, and it has sort of a silhouette of a dog's head. But uh, tell me what you guys think about that little thing in the cupboard on the right, and... Uh, Please be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Next up, we have Chaz Palmentary. I think I pronounced that right, but I think he's holding an Uzi and then he's holding a SWAT. So two new zombie guns. Um, and then we have Joe Basliano who's holding the file. And finally, we have Michael Madsen holding the executioner. So that's it for my trailer breakdown. I hope you guys did enjoy that and found it useful in any way. So it's going to be first released on Xbox 360 on the 16th of April, included in the season pass or 1200 Microsoft points separate if you haven't purchased the season pass. PS3 and PC users will get it usually a month later. So I hope you guys did enjoy that and uh, if you could please leave a like rating I'd really really appreciate it it would mean so much to me if you could leave a like rating I put a super amount of effort into it and I hope you guys could tell that because of the amount of detail so be sure to subscribe because I will be bringing you some quality content the day the map is released bye